What is up everyone? Green is your world here. I am here with more Sakura Santa. Last time we I don't even want to say it. It was it was it was bad. It was it was bad. Basically, we we had an accident when we walked in on Itsumi while she was changing and she did not give a damn that we were there. But this time we are we didn't learn our lesson. We're going to go back to the cafe. Go work at the cafe. Well, I guess it's time to work again. Although I'm not looking forward to working at the cafe. Then why did you choose to go there, you dumbass? It, it'll be nice to see Itsumi again. Sure enough, Itsumi's already dressed up. Okay, good, we're not walking in on her again. Okay, do we do we choose to arrive late or something? Good move, Koji. Uh, give me one second, I'm gonna go close the door so my brother doesn't bother me. Okay, I'm back. She's ready to get to work. Oh, ooh. Ooh, you're giving Santa a run for her money. Giving Santa a run for her money. And th that's, a, that's a really big rack. Oh, Koji. Good to see you again. Good to see you too, it's me. Interesting outfit you have today. A Santa outfit. A very flattering one at that. I, I'm, I, I love to see it's me and Santa just duke it out. Battle of the Santas. Can we, can we, get, can we get some of that fan service? No? Oh, screw, screw you, my cloud. I don't have to point out what it is you're thinking of, do I? Not at all. You really aren't any different than from when you were in middle school. Weren't you known as the greatest pervert in the school? I am. I mean, people don't know it, but I am. But that's not necessarily a good thing. I'm, I'm pretty sure those were misunderstandings. Yes, misunderstandings. That's what you would call them. Anyway, today's going to be another busy day. I'm just wondering, now it makes me wonder, are there any other big perverts in my school? I mean, I... Obviously, not one's not going to point it out, and you know I have to point it out here because you know fan service. She sits down at one of the tables. Is it really okay for you to do this? I mean, even if there are no customers yet, it's fine, Koji. I want to talk to you. I take a seat opposite her. Okay, then, okay, we're not doing anything. We're not doing anything that we should be will be caught for. Her eyes don't leave mine the entire time. It's so funny that we've come together again. We couldn't be separated back in the day, could we? Nope. We'd always go off on adventures together. It wasn't just middle school either. My entire life up until that point had been met, spent with her. She's a really big childhood friend of ours. Really good one. I guess I never hated it to me, just the one I cared about the least. I really am sorry to change my thoughts now. It's a surreal thought when you think about it. Moms just don't fade. You might forget about someone or quite not remember their face. But when you meet them again, it all comes back to you. Yes, we spent so much time to together. After we went to different schools, I never really found another friend like you, Koji. Did you ever meet anyone? We never... Oh, I met a few people. No one I really remember after I left high school, though. I see. Well, you know, you did. You, we did have Akina, but... No, that's kind of over right now. I will admit, you're ne you're not you aren't nearly as bashful as you used to be. We've all got to grow up eventually, right? Yes, I still have to grow from being a from being an in your a ten year old from the inside. Yes, but completely abandoning any sense of shame you have isn't mature. Look who's talking, Mrs. Blunt Woman. I'm not exactly sure how I feel about her saying that. She did just bluntly admit to her that she that she's using her, these sexy outfits to bring in customers. <laughs> then again, if I were a girl, that's exactly what I would do too. Girls easily fall fall for uh, there. Guys fall easily for a nice pair of breasts, no matter who they belong to. Yes, I go as far to say as that. Oh wait, oh okay. Phew, I think I, I thought we were saying like my like my breasts were a guy. <laughs> Yes, I'd go as far as to say as that breasts have conquered entire empires. Okay, you can stop thinking about dirty things. <laughs> Shut up, it's me. Let me have my perverted thoughts. There's nothing wrong with thinking about breasts. She leans across the table, allowing me to have an excellent view down her front of her outfit. Really? Of course not. I say that as I look down on your ass. If you think about nothing but breasts, it could end up being a problem. You think... Potentially, only because I'd be spending all my time thinking about breasts. There's nothing wrong with setting some time aside to think about them. Pervert. We have... We are shameless. 
we have no shame. We're gonna tell it's me that we're that we're a pervert. We don't have any problem with that, right? No one does. She she sits back in her chair, taking a sip a moment to adjust the front of her dress. All right, I'll stop it then. I honestly don't mind. I find it odd how comfortable you are with these things, Kitsumi, despite the fact that you keep confronting us about it. I'm older too, you know. If we never came to terms with these things, we'd never be functioning adults. I don't agree with that. Sorry. Sorry, Kitsumi. That's more or less true. I wonder what it'd be like for guys who keep getting embarrassed by these things no matter how old they are. Man, that would be hell. <laughs> Koji, I've missed you. I kind of forgot. I kind of forgot about our friendship after all these years, but now that you're here, she seems to grow sheepish. I realized how much I missed talking with you like this. It's me. I never really realized it either. It's true. Just talking with it's me is enough to put me at ease. I can't help but think how about all the time we lost. If only I stayed in that town and went to high school with you, neither of us would have to be alone then. Hey, there's no point in dwelling on how things could have been, right? I'm just happy that I got another chance to talk with you. Right, that's true. Still, I would have liked to have more have more time with just us talking like this. Don't worry about the past, girl. We got the present. Don't, don't, I'm not trying to make a pun. I know it was just Christmas. I'm not trying to make a pun. It's, or, I think the term is pun not, pun not intended, pun not intended. It just feels like that the time I could have spent with you was taken unfairly away from me. You had to move. You had to move because your dad's work, right? Yeah, he had to move to another uh, town. I'm um, bad. Uh, what is wrong with my voice? Another town to keep his job. Jeez, what is wrong with me? There, that's what I deserve. I didn't get. A, I didn't get a choice in the matter. She lets out a heavy sigh. It's just nice to think about how things could have worked out differently. I could hear that longing, that longing in her voice. Hey, I'm here now. I'm not going anywhere either, it's me. We'll make up for the lost time. I promise. Do you really promise? The Koji I know never breaks his promises. Of course I promise. I promise to stay and help here too. When you're not so busy, we'll all do fun things together. Lots of fun things together. Just like old times. Alright, fun things. I remember some of your favorite fun things to do. Remember when you tried to get someone to buy you an adult? <laughs> Savage! <laughs> did that, I wonder, did that work out? Ouch. Yeah, I wanted to do the right thing and pay for one instead of stealing it. Of course he didn't buy it for you. Dang it! Ah, dang it. Great, we had to spend our hard-earned money. Could have spent on something good. Pokemon Moon here, playing before I started recording. Of course not. Pervert. Hey, I was just curious. No need for labels. If you aren't a pervert, then why did you just let me- <laughs> Savage Koji! The more, the more I play this game, the more and more I love Koji. You did that on purpose. Am I supposed to ignore an open invitation? Well, it's not like I have a problem with you looking anyway. <sighs> Anyway, we still have plenty of- oh, bleh. Anyway, we still have plenty of things we need to, d to get done before the customer starts showing up. She gets off- off her seat. I can see that her dress is slightly ridden up her back. Hey, it's me. You might want to pull the, the back of your dress down. She looks behind herself, seeing the exposed lower half of her- So we've seen Akina's- wait. Yeah, we've seen Akina's. We've seen Itsumi's now. We saw Santa's in the beginning. So we've seen all three girls' panties. Yay! Of course you'd notice something like that. It's gonna be one not joking about today. I'm more stressed than I think I've ever been. It's even worse than it was yesterday. Oh god, no, 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 no! I'm not doing another more chores! Ugh. All I'm doing is collecting dirty dishes and washing them too. How did she cope with this last year? This, this is just insane! Stacking place as high as I can. You're gonna be like reaching the ceiling. Wait, you did reach the ceiling. But there's always more plates. There's always more glasses. There's always more of everything. Yet the entire time, one person stands out among the horde of customers. Let me guess. 
Yeah, I was right. Yes, sir. I thought I'll have your uh, uh, your iced tea coffee shortly. What? Please be patient. What is wrong with my voice today? Jeez. Oh, you want a nice chocolate for your daughter? No problem. Her cool personality lets her keep an entire keep a completely different level head, no matter how vast the sea of customers is. It's almost mesmerizing to see her soothe to see her soothe the crowd as she passes by. No matter how angry the customers are from not getting their orders in a timely fashion, she's able to calm them down with only a few words. I know she's char I know she has some charm to her, but she, I don't I don't think she can have that much charm to her. Please be patient, sir. You will have your drink shortly. Your food will be ready soon too. When faced with that po cool personality, the customer seems to become as calm as she is. How are you coping with the dishes, Koji? Terribly. I'm fine. Don't worry about me. Although I'm not fine, I just had to keep going. As I said, I would help her out, so that's exactly what I'm gonna do. My brother is moving around. <sighs> give me, give me, give me one, one second. Sorry about that. Brother loves my brother loves messing around. You're doing well, Koji. Keep it up. Don't worry, I will. It's me. Already has another tray of drinks out. How does she do this? She's God or. Eki God, Eki God. Well, she does have several years worth of experience. Still, she's amazing. She used to be really clumsy when we were younger. Now she almost has cat-like grace. Then I just see that. Why is I? Why do I get the feeling something's gonna happen that wakens up her, wakens up her clumsiness? This, this is not good. Then I see the ground is slippery. Wait, it's me. It's too late. And Eki Pictures! Eki Pictures! Yay! Wait, no, wait, this isn't- oh, never mind. Never, no, never mind. I was gonna say it's not perverted, but never mind. Never mind. As she steps in, she loses her balance. The drink she's carrying spill, completely coating the front of her dress. Thick, sticky- We don't- we don't need details on the drinks! We don't, please. Please, I, I prefer to keep my innocence. I kind of lost that like a long time ago, but I might as I might as well continue like pretend like I haven't. What the Zeus? This is my cat. He's tired. He's sit with me. Don't don't shut me out. Right. Oh, okay. 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 Just do whatever you want. Thick sticky fluids are sprayed everywhere, all over her face, her arms, her breasts, especially her breasts. As she stands there, she seems shocked. Oh. She tries to wipe off the front of her chest only for it to stick to her face. Oh my god. And we're doing this in front of tens of thousands of people! Whatever whatever was in those cups, they formed a stinky, syrupy strands between her fingers. That's not good. I must be overwaking myself. You think? Oh my god, it's me. I swear to god, it's me is gonna ki it's killing me. That's when I noticed that the drinks are beginning to soak into the front of her dress. Oh no. And that she wear isn't wearing a bra underneath that outfit. I try to look away, but there's something bewitching about the scene. I'm sure every single guy in this cafe is thinking the exactly the same as I am. Crap, I clicked off the screen. Breasts truly do conquer empires. I can hear them cheering now as she passes by. No, oh, I have to help her. As much as I enjoy things like this, I really must do something to help her. She doesn't seem embarrassed by it in the slightest, though. I'm sorry, sir. I'll go get your drinks again. It'll only take a moment. She quickly picks up her tray and carries on with nothing. Oh my god, this is killing me. But her dress remains soaked and see-through. The sugar from the drinks is growing sticky on her skin, too, making it look even more inappropriate. Um, it's to me. Don't worry, they appear to be pleased by... Well, that's one way to put at it, but you don't, you at least show some sign of that you actually care that a bunch of random guys are looking at your tip. Oh my god, this is killing, this is killing me. Crap, I keep kicking off the screen. Yes, yes, I'm going to worry. Yeah, she stands still and looks at me. It's only a few spilled drinks, Koji. You know, that's not what I'm talking about. I look down again, I'm able to see her peaks of her mountains. Would you like me to show- Oh my fucking 
It's to me he's going- I, I said this thousands of times. It's to me he's gonna kill me. No! Oh, you don't like my boobs? That's not the issue here. Look, get cleaned up. I'll take over the- I'll take over in the meantime. Are you sure you want I me- mean, you want to do that? I look behind her at the roaring crowd. My instincts are screaming at me to run away. The crowd will eat me alive, I'm sure. But for it's me's sake, I'll face them. True love! Except we already had that last time, so who really is our true love here? Yes, I'll do it. Just go clean yourself up, okay? As you wish, Koji. I probably just signed my death warrant. But if it's for it to me, then that's okay. After that nightmarish day, we finally finish. It's dark when we leave the cafe. You did well, Koji. Also, thank you for giving me time to clean up. Don't, don't worry about it. I barely had time to even catch my breath today. I didn't really have a problem with it, though. I... How do I tell her? I just didn't like the idea of those guys perving on you like that. It, it just doesn't seem right to me. It might seem silly, but I obviously... Yeah, since I obviously share the same feeling they do. But I don't like them looking at my childhood friend that way. You start to joke about it. I see. That actually makes me very happy, Koji. You still do care about me after all these years. Well, of course, you're my childhood friend. Unless, if, unless we got into a fight and we started hating each other, we wouldn't hate you. Y yeah, I, w I, w I would know that. Why wouldn't I care about you, Itsumi? I was worried just be that you were just being polite. But it, re it seems you really do care. So she's uncertain, too. It's been a long time, after all. Of course I care about you. Why wouldn't I, Itsumi? Feelings can change with time. That's just how life is. Quietly, she fidgets on the spot. I like to walk home. I like to walk with you, Furka. Yay! We get to the making a move on us. Yay! I looked really stupid right there. If that's okay with you, of course. I'm really tired up today, but spending time with Itsumi makes me feel less weary. Lead the way, then, Koji. Da 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 da. After work, it's a me that's tired. We're getting. <laughs> she doesn't look even the slightest bit tired after work, Koji. What you did today was really sweet. Why she get so protective from me? I know that you're using your appearance to get customers, but there has to be a limit to that, you know. If you're just gonna let them stare at you like that, it just isn't right. But you're the one that saw my boobs. <laughs> Please don't bring that up, please. Please don't bring that up. Why are you suddenly asking Bastful about it? Isn't it different? I mean, it, isn't it different if it's me looking at them rather than a stranger? How so? Is there some reason you don't want people to look at me? She's vicious with her questions tonight. Well, would a, what guy wouldn't feel weird if their friend was just getting stared at like that? I see. Well, thank you. But you shouldn't worry about me, Koji. After all, I took up this job so I could be independent. Independence isn't all that it's cracked up to be. Perhaps not, but it's important to prove yourself. I was just thinking the same thing. Or about something. How nostalgia works. What do you mean? Well, when people look back, they think something was better than it is now. I can, I can, I can, I can see that. Like how the world was put supposedly better, or things like that. Have you ever heard of good, the good old days, Koji? That, yeah, that's, that's why. That's why. How does someone become so attached to something mundane? So mundane. Feelings aren't rational. They they just take whatever form they want. Sorry, I'm gonna move up. A clam forms a pearl because of of the grit in its mouth. So a small feeling can be wrapped with layers upon layers, eventually becomes something far bigger than it was. People aren't rational. They're emotional. So even the tiniest feelings can one day manifest into a, as a roaring torrent. That's what I think, at least. Yeah, I think that's right. It's true. Even if it's something as simple as an old photo of a moon, of a mundane day, with time, the feelings that you have toward the photo can go stronger and stronger. The preciousness of an object or a memory grows and grows with time. Why'd you ask something? Why'd you ask about something like that? I was just thinking about the Christmases we spent together. Even if it seems like something really normal, it becomes precious with time. Yes, it really does. Now we're sitting here years later thinking back on it. It's just part of growing older, I think. Remember the past fondly, even if what you did was normal or nothing out of the ordinary. Emotions 
to make the normal extraordinary. That's just how it is. So if you think about it like that, were her feelings for me similar? Yes! How do you not see that? You were killing me! Are you sure you're not a dense man? Because it's obviously... Wait... I, I, I don't even fucking know anymore. I'd like to think that I'm not getting a bit of grit that a clam wrapped mo mother of pearl around. But I admit that it's an excellent metaphor. Now then, I need to go- No! Sleep with us! Sleep with us! It's a me! You guys know, have taught me like that, coming home to my place and everything, and just... Ah, screw you, it's- screw you, it's a me. Screw you, it's a me. I'll talk to you later, Koji. Goodbye, it's a me! So... If her feelings like were like grit, then how much has she wrapped them up in all after all these years? A lot. Let's just put it like that. Yesterday was hell. I thought the day before that was hell at the cafe, but this is like double hell. Such a thing even exists. Well, double hell would be hell inside a hell. So I, I double double hell. Just hashtag double hell. I'm just gonna- I'm just gonna leave it at that. I don't remember if I have any quotes in this so far. I thought the day before- Okay, I already read that. How has Itsumi survived all for the- for years? I know she's tough, but that kind of tenacity is insane. But I'm glad I gave her a chance to clean up. Seeing her white fluid all over her- Please don't, please don't. Cody, please don't. It just makes me feel really wrong. She doesn't seem to have a problem with it, but even so, I don't think that the cafe should be using her like that. I guess I never really noticed her shamelessness before. Dude, yesterday? The day- the first day you met her back? No? S stupid Koji. Baka. Baka, Baka, and Baka. Baka. But it's something that- Okay. But it's something that makes- that's become a lot more apparent now that she actually looks like a woman. Seriously, back in the day, I speculated about whether or not she'd even have boobs. Looks like I was proven wrong. Good. Even the most flat, even the most flat of chests become the, you know, the proudest of mountains. I shouldn't be saying that. <laughs> anyway, today's another day. And yeah, okay, we got, we, we got more routes. Okay then. End of the, end of the event, end of the episode. Thanks guys for watching this video, if you liked it, like, comment, subscribe, you know, do all that nasty jazz. And now uh, I gotta go and uh, go work on this a little bit more, because, you know, I gotta work on my team if I wanna go battle you guys in uh, Pokemon Moon. So, yeah. Next time on Soccer Santa, we're gonna be taking a break from work. Finally, for Jesus sakes, I hate working. I know that makes me re look really lazy, but I really hate working. And, I'm, and yet I'm always asking for money. So, for Mr. Bro here. I'll see you next time. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, ay, ay. Waste my summer life.